there any issues I need to know about? You got all your ingredients? What brasserie is it today? Brasserie 6. Tomorrow? Brasserie 7. I'm more commonly known as the general. I'd like to think it's because of my hat. I feel comfortable wearing my hat like this. I've bought it like this my whole career. It's just the way I wear my hat. There's no rhyme or reason behind it. I say it as a joke. The captain steers the ship, but the chef drives it. Every engine ran low a little bit for a couple of hours. We would still float and nobody would notice. Everybody wakes up this morning and there's no food on the ship. I'm sure there'll be a lot of unhappy guests. Right now, we have over uh, 10,000 chefs in the fleet uh, throughout 23 ships, and each and every one of them work under me. It's something I love, it drives me. I couldn't see me doing anything else. I've been doing it for 26 years, and it's the one thing I know that keeps my mind occupied. In this venue alone, we will push out in excess of 30,000 meals a day, based on a full ship. As you can see, the weather's not too good outside, so the ship will be full. I get up at 4.30 in the morning because everybody else is asleep. So that means my phone isn't going. I'm not getting disturbed. I have two hours to myself and that's where I get myself organized. Shave cantaloupe 400, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, make sure you answer me, please, yeah? Scallop 600, yeah? Shrimp cocktail 700. How many shrimp cocktail did you do last night? Last night, I did only nobody. You didn't do any last night? No. Have you stopped doing that now? How many steaks did you go through last night, Butch? You went through 700. Make sure you don't get caught with your trousers down there, yeah? What's happened to your hat, man? That's not going to make you look any taller. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to your hat? What's the consumption like on your donuts? Thompson? Yes, boss. So we have blueberry muffins, yeah? With no blueberries in them. So we need to get some more blueberries in there. Yes. Today is going to be a long, long, busy day. Today and tomorrow. All right, so get yourselves well prepared. Thanks, fellas. No one man runs an operation like this. This is where we'll be serving breakfast from today for the dining room. I have three of the same kitchen here. Morning, are you lost? Yes. What are you looking for? Not too choppy for you, know? It's It's lovely here. Guest interaction is probably the part that I love the most. Have a nice morning, guys. You know where you're going? Yeah. yeah. We've done it before. Have oh, you done it before, have you? Yeah. Well, if I need any advice, I'll come to you, okay? Yeah. yeah. So this is my cafe promenade. We'll put out over 3,000 pizzas a day in here. If you keep the kids happy, mum and dad's going to be happy. What is this? Who, who's done this? Can you move that? Please? Yeah. You're just waiting for this hat to blow off, aren't you? It's stuck on. As soon as it goes on, that's it. It's stuck. This is one of my favorite spots. It gives you a good indication of what's going on down there. And I can see all my fruit bowls, all my bacon, sausage, all the breakfast items. So if it's running low, I can just call the chefs in the kitchen, ask them to come out to the buffet station. You've only been with me for an hour so far and you've seen the ground that I've covered. Let me take you into my tasting kitchen now. Morning. Tell me what's missing off that kebab. Missing. Yeah, what's missing from it? Nothing, Nothing missing. All the ingredients are there. So all the ingredients are there, but we got we're lacking one ingredient. What's the ingredient? A little red color. Alright, it's supposed to be much redder, yeah? yeah. Alright, like tandoori. Who made the sauce for the turkey? Yes, yeah? Did you taste it? Yes sir. Really? Taste that, tell me what you taste. Salty. Yeah? Extremely salty. Who made the vegetable stock for the broth? You made it. Tell me how you made your stock. We're constantly developing our chefs and constantly training them through our in-house training program. So it gives me a good indication of where we may have some people that we need to show a little bit more attention to. And can I see you write this down? Yes. Huh? I can teach anyone how to cook. That's the easy part. To teach someone to be dedicated and willing. That's got to come from within. Carpaccio de Manzo presented nicely, lots of flavour, really nice. Make sure they're all like that and that goes for any pasta. Your Mercedes is nice, nice and fluffy, no air gaps in the middle. Well done on the Mercedes, it's not an easy one to make. Right gentlemen, yeah, have a good afternoon. 
Enjoy Blazery 7. I'll see you all later. Excuse me. Oh, man, what are you doing? Jesus. Move back. Honestly, move your trolleys out the way. To be able to stand for the first 15 years of a culinary career for 16, 17 hours a day in blistering heat in a super intense atmosphere. To not have Christmas at home, to not celebrate birthdays unless it was with the chefs at the end of dinner service. To give all that up for over 25 years, you have to have to be slightly imbalanced. This is Arazumi concept. Uh, we have nine sushi restaurants across the fleet and nine of our different ships. Yeah, hopefully we will have them in every ship in the fleet at some stage. Andre, did you do the sauce today? Come and taste this, please. It's a little bit on the edge. It's well and truly over the edge. Yeah. He's very tough to work with, but uh, he always supports. When we need some help, he's always there to support us. Uh, the soups I have no issues with. The soup is fine. The broth is fine. The double chicken consomme is fine. He has a very good knowledge about food, which is uh, very good for us because we are growing in our fields. So it's very good for us to have the right person to guide you in your right direction. One day I would like to be like him. Good evening, gentlemen. Young man, would you like to just step forward for me? First of all, good evening, chef. Good evening, everyone. There's so much more that I want them to get out of being not just a chef, but a professional. I want them to be professional and, and how they conduct themselves. I want them to always want to keep learning. You know, once you stop, then everything just stops. You know, the more I learn, the more I want to know. Do we have truffle fries? Truffle fries, yes, we do have truffle fries. Oh, really? Fries. Do we? Are you we sure? Love them. I can't find one single issue on the plate. And generally, I can always find something. So whoever put this table together, job well done. Excellent. I just want the chefs to have that same hunger all the time. I think he deserves a round of applause, gentlemen. He's done very well. I'm the best. <laughs>